Lost in Random is an action-adventure video game developed by Zoink and published by EA. It was released in September 2021 pretty much for all platforms from Windows to Switch to PlayStation. And overall, it has a gothic atmosphere is the best way that I could describe it and is pretty much an absurdist slash surrealist game. Now, I don't usually find many games that weave in almost surrealist cinema type aspects and really just throw shit at the wall and see how it goes. What we get here in Lost and Random is a very unique set of characters that are quite memorable and from everybody to like Seymour to Uma. And on top of that, you have a lot of different dimensions and areas that feel very unique and very big and expansive. Now, let me go ahead and back up a little bit. This follows a girl named Even, whose sister Odd was taken away after she rolled the dice on her 12th birthday, which everybody has to do in the land of random. Then whatever the dice lands on is what you will serve as. If you get a one, you are a oneer and you stay in the first dimension or world. Uh, if you are a sixer, you go to like this top dimension essentially, where only good things happen as far as we know. There's a lot of really interesting underlying visual imagery stuff happening here, and particularly a lot of the story beats are very very fascinating and really have a lot to say about how everything is just random and to a degree meaningless because of that randomness. The world could have ended in or ended up a million different ways, but we just happen to live in this timeline how everything played out exactly this way. In random, they go so far as to worship randomness, saying that randomness is never wrong because the universe is random and so therefore randomness is the principle that we all must live by. There's also this like big kind of overarching idea of a queen who's a dictator and comes down and rules by fear and kind of forces the participants in this society into these different compartments that she deems necessary based on her rules of random. And even when her sister is taken from her, doesn't like these rules. So she decides to say fuck it and finally fight back. So she starts to proceed through all of the different realms and goes through and meets different people and meets particularly this lovely little fella named Dicey. Dicey is a really cool character and he's really cute even though at times he looks really weird. And Dicey serves as your like combat partner in this game essentially. As you go through the different dimensions the queen tries to stop you and you have to take on her various henchmen as well as her right hand man. And to do this obviously even just a random young girl isn't going to be able to fight off these all alone. So she finds this dice and it turns out there's something called a dice wielder that has been long forbidden and gone. Dice wielders were the warriors, uh, at least they used to be, before they were apparently made to be extinct and all of the dice killed, but basically when you throw dicey, the time around you slows down, nothing moves, and you're able to look at cards that you have in your hand. This is a like card combat style game in a way that I have never seen in my life. So basically you throw dicey uh, after you hit these crystals on the enemies. So the, they have these little blue spots on the enemies and you use a slingshot in order to shoot off those crystals, which you then have dicey go and pick up. After dicey goes and picks them up and you get a full card, the card will reveal itself from your deck and that card has a specific usage. It can be from anything from like health to a bow to a sword and then what you have to do is you have to purchase these cards from somebody named Manny Dex and he goes ahead and provides you your different cards and unlocks various different cards for you as you continue through the game and each card has anything from like a hazard type thing that you can set up on the playboard to a like defense mechanism etc or even like a time slowdown so this I found to be the most fascinating and interesting part of the game after throwing dicey and choosing your card you're given what Whatever you chose and then you have to go in and do actual damage to the enemies with say your sword bow bomb whatever and then those things usually run down durability and once they're out of durability you have to wait for that card to pop up again the cards that pop up are all entirely random other than the fact that you like you know bought them from many decks and on top of that you have these play tokens and the play tokens uh, correspond to numbers on each card so each card has a specific number 
number correlating with your tokens and you have to have that number of tokens in order to use that card so a sword is one token um, a bow is two tokens health is one token and the way that they decide how many tokens you get on each roll is basically whatever number dicey lands on so this entire thing is left up to a certain amount of randomness to fall in lines with the world that has been built up around it on top of that it adds this really unique interesting aspect that you have to constantly worry about what card might come next and hopefully i'll get health this time around and oh god no it was just another useless card i've never seen card building uh, or deck building happen so fast and so fluidly in a game like this it doesn't feel overpowered and it doesn't feel underpowered and that's usually a really hard thing to come by now that's all I have to really say about the game is more of just the game mechanics and the characters. We haven't finished the game yet so I will do another final stretch review when we want to talk about the actual story. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this guys. And on top of that one of the best things is that the game is on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass you definitely should go check this out. Or I think there's like the EA Plus thing uh, that if you have EA Plus you can also play it. So definitely I recommend checking this game out. It's really unique, really interesting. And I think most people that are into like these combat style games will have some fun with this unique flair on it all right guys you can like and subscribe for more content like this going forward talking about like video games reviewing them talking about games that are coming out soon etc and you can follow us uh over on our other channel smoke and sessions where we do similar content but in the vein of movies all right guys i'll see you all in the next game and session Just to open up